Hi, my name is Jules Dick and I'm from Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands. This is a short presentation on the imaging of a hidden painting in the work of Vincent van Gogh using advanced x-ray techniques. If you go to a museum you usually look at paintings but you don't look through paintings. Yet it can be very informative to do so, to take a look below that outer layer of a, of a painting. And that especially applies to the work of Vincent van Gogh. It is estimated that one-third of his early paintings have been painted on top of existing ones. Uh, van Gogh literally recycled his own canvases. If we turn this painting, Patch of Grass, on its side, and we take a look at the corresponding x-ray image, then we note uh, the presence of a hidden figure below the grass landscape. Now, this image was made with conventional x-ray radiography, which has two basic limitations. One is that we're looking literally through the painting, so all the paint layers are stacked on top of each other. And two, radiography is only sensitive to heavy metals in the pigments. Therefore, we get a very partial, fragmentary, colorblind view uh, of this hidden painting. We therefore decided to use another x-ray technique called x-ray fluorescence to uh, image this hidden painting. And x-ray fluorescence allows us to map the distributions uh, of individual elements. And in order to do that, we took the painting to a particle accelerator in uh, Hamburg. Uh, this is the site, as you can see, Doris III in, uh, in Germany. And the next slide shows the position of the painting uh, during analysis. We used a thin beam of x-rays, a pencil beam of x-rays, to uh, illuminate the painting and then detected the fluorescence of that spot with a fluorescence detector and in that manner we scanned the relevant area of this painting. Now different elements of course are associated with different pigments and different pigments have different colors and different colors have been used in different layers and because of that analogy we can now make a virtual three-dimensional model of this painting and start really to peel off uh, the different layers one by one. Zinc white, for instance, was uh, mostly used in the surface painting, as you can see here, by the horizontal striping, uh, as were a number of other pigments, such as, for instance, barium sulfate. And behind that surface uh, painting, we then find a rather uniform distribution of, of lead, which is uh, the secondary primer, priming layer that Van Gogh applied on top of his hidden head. And if we take away that primer, then we get a nice detailed view of the hidden face. And this image was made by combining two elemental distribution images of uh, mercury and antimony. And we colorized those two distributions according to the color that the pigment would have had. So that gives us a beautiful colorized view on the hidden face. This slide on the left shows the conventional radiograph. And in the middle, of course, our reconstruction, which is a nice uh, improvement as you can see and that also allows us to go ahead and compare uh, our reconstruction of the hidden painting with the existing work of Van Gogh. If you'd like to know more about that please go ahead and read our paper in analytical chemistry which is the cover paper of the August 15th issue 2008. Thank you very much for your attention.